but more important to me is the uh, close relationship between Minbari Tech with the industrial world. I'm Wei Qing. I'm a third year PhD student of Minibaki Tech, and I work in CMF, the Center of Materials Forming. And we're not in Paris, actually. We're in the campus of Sofia Antipolis, which is in the South France. I come from China. I got my bachelor's degree of polymer engineering in the University of Tongxi at Shanghai. And then I participate in an exchange program between my university and the Institutes of Baki Tech. That's why I got my master's degree at SPCE Baki Tech at Paris. First of all, because of my uh, curiosity, because I'm curious in the material science, and I want to learn as more as I can, and I want to go as far as I could. So I choose to go for a PhD. And uh, why uh, Midbachi Tech? Because first of all, the, um, it is a re really prestigious institute in both France, and also well known internationally. And also because it has a really high level of research and education. But more important to me is the uh, close relationship between Minbari Tech with the industrial world, which allowed the uh, PhD students to be ready right after their graduation to get into the industrial world. That I consider it very important. And also the Minbari Tech, it provides many tra training course, both in the uh, uh, scientific field, but also in the uh, professional field. For example, like the uh, management program I participated, I consider those kind of training course is very good for us. That's why I choose me in the tech. Well, it is a uh, program designed spe uh, specifically for the PhD students. And uh, I consider it to be a complement for the PhD student because we already work as a PhD student. We already know what's going on in the lab and also in the academic field. But this kind of program could provide, provide us with the essential idea of what's going on in the business world. It covers the key aspects of both business and management. And also, the lectures are given by the uh, really good lectures from the top tier business schools. And it brings a lot of PhD students from all the institutes of Bahi Tech, of both uh, of really various scientific background and from different countries. And it is a quite nice experience. That's why I recommend it to my colleague and friends afterwards. Here uh, we work with cellulose and other bio-based polymers. Why cellulose? Because unlike the uh, most polymers we see in our everyday life, they are produced from oil. But cellulose, we get it from nature, and it's quite abundant and renewable. That's why it becomes more and more attractive. Actually, people already apply cellulose in many fields. We are making papers with cellulose. We are also making textiles for clothes with cellulose, and also the packaging material. But what we research is we want to add more specific function to cellulose, and we want to add more values to the cellulose. For example, in our project, there's one aim is to add the antibacterial functionality to the cellulose fibers. Therefore, if we make clothes with those kind of fibers, and we might uh, we can wash our clothes less frequently if we have this antibacterial function. So we, uh, we have the cellulose like this, actually. And we, well, cellulose comes from many sources of the nature. We can get it from the uh, cottons and also woods and also different other different kind of plants. And also there are some bacteria which could produce cellulose also. So, um, well, it's everywhere. As long as we can use it well, I think it's, it has a quite bright future for the application. Actually, my uh, PhD project is financed by the European Commission. It is part of a larger project which is participated by 14 partners from different, uh, five different countries all over Europe. And the partners are coming from both academic world like us and also from the industrial sectors. Here our research team at CMF as part of the uh, project as academic partners, we contribute our 
background and fundamental knowledge to the project, and we also help our industrial partners to solve their problems during the process of the project. Of course, I want to be a researcher. That's the essential reason why I want to do the PhD, because I consider the experience of doing the PhD is part of help me to know how, how the scientific project is going on and how to learn different approach, different methods to solve a specific scientific problems to let me to have this kind of specific tools. I think that that's even more important than the project itself is learn the how to do things. I think I will start my career on a technical position, for example, as a research and development engineer in a chemical company, and probably back in China. And uh, after a few years, I would become an expert in a certain field, and I would gain more responsibility and maybe take a management role afterwards.